Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change your application scope in ServiceNow. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now in order to switch between various scopes in ServiceNow, what you want to do is you want to scroll to the top of the interface and you want to click on the settings icon. Next, you want to click into the developer group. And what you'll notice here is that you have an option to show the application picker in the header of the interface. So you want to go ahead and toggle this on. And if I close out of this menu, what you can see now is that you have this application picker. And if you click on this drop down, this is going to allow you to switch between the various scopes in ServiceNow. So if you wanted to set it back to global, you could just go ahead and select global and your browser will refresh. And this is going to bring you back into a global scope. Now, if you wanted to switch into a specific scope, such as a scoped application, you could just go ahead, find that particular application in the application picker, select it, and then again, your browser is going to refresh. Now, just to recap, to show this application picker, you wanna click on the settings icon, you wanna click on the developer tab, and then you wanna make sure that you toggle on this option here that says show application picker in header. Now, if you didn't wanna have it locked at the top of your interface, you can always just come into this menu, and again, you can switch your scope by selecting it in the application field here. And again, that's just going to take you into that specific scope. So that's it. This was just a really quick tutorial showing you how you can change your application scope in ServiceNow to global or to a scoped application. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.